This short video is just a quick demonstration, not really a tutorial, um, to address a question someone on the LaunchBox forums had about whether you could use the Elgato Stream Deck to launch a game and also be able to display a game-specific menu that would allow you to activate keystrokes on, for example, um, well, his example was a Commodore 64 game, um, Spelunker specifically, but it would work with any game. And this video is really just to demonstrate how this could be achieved with Arcade IP. So what you see here is a menu that I created for Arcade EIP using the Stream Deck, and this is the same one as you can also see in my other video about integrating Arcade EIP with the Stream Deck. But I've gone ahead and uh, set up an example here in which you can see how we can start up the game Spelunker under the C64 and uh, get a game-specific menu and utilize that. So I'll do this in two parts. First I'll show you how the Stream Deck menu works and then the second part is I will show you how uh, these functions look on the actual arcade machine. So within this menu we have a button here called console systems. So within here I set up several different consoles and 8-bit uh, computers. Uh, Atari 26, Commodore 64, Atari 800 and so forth. If I press this Commodore 64 button, which I set up for this demonstration, this will bring us into a menu that's dedicated to the C64. Now I set up two different games, uh, Donkey Kong and Spelunker. So I'm going to go ahead and press the Spelunker button. Now what will happen on the arcade machine when I press this button is it will start up the actual game uh, in Arcade EIP and as you'll see here it also switches the menu over into a game specific uh, uh, list of uh, keys that can be used within the game. Uh, these can be set up any way that you want. I've set them up so that the main keys for the game, D, which I think is uh, for dynamite, F for flares, and space for uh, something like uh, space or phantom blaster, um, in the center here, since I presume uh, those are the ones that you would use most of the time in the game. And then surrounding those, I have some other keys that I noticed from um, playing the game a little bit uh, that are also used. From what I could see, all of these keys uh, should be able to operate the game. So let's uh, move back now and uh, take a look at the arcade machine. And I'll go through the same steps here to show you what happens there. So let's take a look at how this works on the arcade machine. Now, if you've used Arcade R EIP, or uh, if you've seen some of the other videos, you'll know that by default, Arcade EIP cycles through a list of various different games, um, showing their attract modes, and at any point you can walk up and just start playing. Um, you can also choose games off of a menu as well. So if I wanted to play, for example, Spelunker on the C64, I could just go into the menu and choose the uh, Commodore 64 list, choose Spelunker off the list, and hit um, my fire button here, in which case it will start up the game. But because we're, uh, we want to use the Elgato Stream Deck and use the uh, custom uh, buttons that we set up, we're going to start it up through the Stream Deck. So I'm going to press the Console Systems button as we did before, Commodore 64, and then I'm going to press Spelunker. So on the uh, screen we can see that Spelunker is now loading up and we can also see that over here on the Stream Deck that it has uh, transitioned over to the um, to the display we saw earlier. Now I'm just going to speed up this video a little bit to get through the loading phase of this. Okay, so we're now in the game and it says at the top there um, you can press space to read or run stop to start. So if I wanted to read, uh, there is a button on here called space, so I could press that. And we do indeed go to the next uh, page of text there. Uh, but it also said that we could press run stop to start the game, so I'm going to go ahead and press run stop on my pad here. 
and that will start the game up. Oh, but it does have a few questions first. Enable or disable fast loader? I have no idea what that does, but I'm going to go ahead and enable that by pressing the E button. High score or trainers? Well, I'm sure high scores will pick. H. Load or reset high scores? Oh, well, I'll um, reset them. Uh, there should be an R button, yeah, right there. And that will start the main menu of the game. So I fast forwarded a bit here again um, since it takes a little time for the C64 to load and here we are at the main menu. I believe the way that you actually start the game is to press the uh, fire button which I'm going to do on my control panel. And we are now entering the elevator. So here we can, I, I can use my joystick to um, start the game and uh, start moving around. I'll move my character down here. I can uh, pick up stuff. Uh, I'm not very good at this, obviously. But I think I have to pick up um, some dynamite and the flare here to show how the buttons work. Okay, so I can now um, plant some dynamite by pressing the D button and move away here so I don't get blasted. Um, or I can come over here and press F to shoot up a flare. Um, and I really don't know how this, uh, whoops, how this um, phantom blaster works, but if I press that, something seems to work there too. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, that's uh, Spelunker um, from the C64. Now I will just point out that uh, if I do go up um, on the menu here, I could choose another game. And uh, in this case here, I'll choose Donkey Kong on the C64 as well. And you'll see that we transition immediately out of Spelunker and straight to Donkey Kong. Uh, you'll also see over here that I've set up this with a different configuration. Um, in this case here, at the uh, opening screen, it will ask you to press an F key in order to select options. So I'm just going to press F1 here to start the game. And sure enough, Donkey Kong starts. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, that's a demonstration of how uh, you can launch games and have game-specific uh, button screens for each of those games using Arcade EIP and the Elgato Stream Deck. Thanks for watching.